Hey, today we're going to replace the rear suspension on my 2015 BMW M4. As you can see, I've got it. The uh, quick jack system. So the car is already raised. Um, you really can get away with a regular floor jack just to do one tire at a time if you want. Going with a used set of KW Club Sport two-way adjustable uh, suspension. So here is the rears and this is the complete tool set you'll need to do the rear. Um, I got a breaker bar. Uh, unless you have an air uh, impact wrench you will need that to get off a couple of the larger bolts. 17 millimeter socket on my battery powered impact gun. Got some electrical tape. You'll probably want a flashlight. Um, this is an EP12 so it's a reverse Torx bit. Uh, we got a 10 millimeter socket. Wrenches, uh, we need a 21 and an 18 millimeter wrench as well as a 21 and 18 socket. Got a screwdriver another ratchet um, and of course the components that you're going to install. I'm going to assume that you know how to take the wheel off so start with that. All right there are a lot of incomplete tutorials out there on how to do this uh, which is really frustrating to me because why take the time to video it in my opinion if you're just going to skim over it and fast forward it and not talk about any of the details to help somebody like me who's never done this before figure it out so let's see the steps. Okay, so if you've never seen behind your wheel before, this is what it looks like. By the way, I'm just using a panel light here to get some light in for my video. Uh, okay, so this is our uh, shock that we're going to be removing. That's the OEM one. Um, I have the Dynan uh, air quote coilover system installed in my car. I'm going to be replacing that. <clears throat> so this is our spring and the top spring mount. So all of that is going to come out and the shock. Uh, here we can see that there is a sensor. Uh, this wire runs up into the car. It's clipped right there. So one of the first things we're going to do is pop that little retaining clip off and then this is plugged in. Uh, right down here. So there is a little let's see. So there's a little release tab there. Then we're going to push in and pull that straight down. So we're going to end up undoing this bolt and the bolt that attaches the bottom of the shock. We're going to leave this third bolt connected, which is what is attached our rotor here and this whole thing will swing down uh, giving us the ability to get all of this stuff out now if you have the stock uh, spring in yours there will probably be a lot of tension in it and a lot of people take a floor jack and um, hold this piece up right here with the floor jack to um, allow you to undo these bolts without the pressure pushing down so it doesn't snap out. But let me see if I can show you here. With this dine-in spring, it's already, you can see it wiggles around. It's already loose so there's no tension on it when it's raised. So we don't need to do that step. Then after we detach all the things on the bottom, we're going to take out these three bolts that you can see, and those are the reverse Torx uh, 12 size bolts. Okay, this is interesting. I just did the other side first. On the other side, there is a like a box with the arm that comes out and comes down here and attaches to this point. I guess it's some kind of sensor for to measure how much this is moving. Uh, it is not on this side, but the first step I did on the other side is uh, unscrew this bolt here, 
so that when we lower this, it won't pull on the box through that arm. Just so you can see what I'm babbling about, this is the uh, driver's side. And there's a little box with this arm attached to there, so I just undid this bottom bolt here. Okay, the second thing I'm gonna do is pry this little wire out of the retaining clip, and it's in there super hard, so it will take a lot of force. It's gonna be gentle and not hurt the wire, but it has this big rubber grommet on both sides. Okay, so what ended up working the best for me was bring the screwdriver up from the bottom and use this bolt down here to rest it against his leverage. Stick it up behind this part, press really hard, pop it off like that. Okay, this is the uh, plug we're going to undo. You can see the little tab hanging down at the bottom. Press that in and pull down. I have to work it back and forth a lot. Dusty in there. All right, with this cord out of the way now, we can get to this back bolt, which is a 21 millimeter. If you had a, a air ratchet, you could probably loosen that, but since I don't, my battery powered one is not strong enough, so I'm gonna attach a breaker bar and just loosen this first. All right, breaker bar, lefty loosey. on there tight. Alright, getting a little easier. There we go. That should be easy enough for the impact gun now. And what I learned from the other side, before I take that bolt all the way out, while it's still nice and rigid, I'm gonna go ahead and um, loosen this second one also with a breaker bar. This one is an 18 millimeter socket. Also attach the breaker bar, same thing. All right. Yeah, that's tight. A lot easier with two hands when you're not filming with one as well. So I'm going to put this down and loosen this. Okay, this is the hardest one I've done so far, so let me show you what I've done. i got a breaker bar on that side. And if you come around here, you can see i got the open-ended box wrench on that side. So I'm just lifting on the breaker bar with one hand and pushing against it on the with the other <sighs> to make sure the other side doesn't turn okay now for that far back 21 millimeter bolt all right this is where we need our 21 millimeter wrench to hold on the back side of it the nut while we undo this off. All right, 
right, it's off. Now the inside of uh, all the way through here is threaded, so it helps taking that off. Okay, at the base of the shock, now we're gonna do the same thing with our 18 millimeter ones. Hold it on one side with the wrench, and then uh, use this guy on the other side. This one is not threaded all the way through, so we just pull this out. And they are separated now. So, we can just give it a little tug now. And this whole piece will drop down. Careful, your spring will fall out. And, Got it apart, and here's our spring. <laughs> 